Hey folks, so they are starting to play a game called Hearthorn, which is a first person horror game. Uh, which I don't know too much about, other than it's set in the early 90s. We got a better intro story here, so. Yeah, first time playing this, never seen any walkthroughs. Just been looking for some uh, some horror games that came out recently, like the last six months or, or uh, two years. I found this one. It's been quite a long time since I played games like Outlast or or Blair Witch or any of those kind of games. And this game seemed kind of similar to those. So I figured we'd check it out. Controls can be seen updated. Yeah, we're already pretty sure the controls. Morning. You're the new guy, right? Ah, uh, morning. Yep, that's me. You're my safety and security dispatcher. I'm April, but also yes, I'm your dispatcher. I'll be checking in with you while you do your rounds. Have you worked as a security guard before? No, it's a first-time thing. I recently moved here to go to university and needed a job in between classes. Not that I don't appreciate the opportunity. Thought you sounded a bit on the younger side. And don't worry, I'm not your boss. I'm just here to check in with you from time to time. Ah, uh, well, that's good to hear. The orientation was a bit on the brief side, so it's good to have someone help me out. It's a quiet town. All you need to do is just walk around and try not to have a tea party with one of the science room skeletons out of boredom. Thanks for the tip. I honestly don't mind the quiet here. It's peaceful. It's peaceful because it's winter break. <laughs> when I attended Hearthorn, it was far from it. You're a local? Yep. Born and raised. Radio me if you need anything, new guy. Okay. Will do. Thanks, April. Okay, so those are a hell of a lot of options to, for what room to go in. All these doors seem to be openable. Start your rounds. Examine maps around Hardthorn to stay aware of your location. Let's try that first then. Your inventory to see tasks and items. Uh, view controls and settings. Let's see if we can find inventory. It's usually I. It's not I this time. Uh, okay, let's. Settings. Controls. Inventory is tab, okay? Start your rounds. Time to start my rounds around Hearthorn, and the first route leads me to the classroom. C. I can check the maps around the school if I get lost. Imagine there's quite a lot of maps. Okay, so. So all that does is. Oh, read, I guess. Press the easy buttons. Hearthorn South Wing. So we are here. Yeah. Uh, can go to the gymnasium, which is the big door. I'm guessing the, the door at the bottom is the one that we came in, so that's door to outside. Okay. So welcome back, that's probably the door that we came in. I think that's the only one we can't use. Oh, we can, let's see. The gym, I'll check it out later. Cool, okay, so we've got some some rough guidance as to where we should be going. Front door of Arthur, okay. So, this is set on 1994 on winter break, like it said at the start, which means good chance to be the only person in the high school. Imagine this is going to get scary. I don't know if it's a if it's a ghost thing, is it a haunted high school? Has it been maybe like a tragedy that's happened in the past? Oh, creepy the way the door's open. Uh, both of them open. So yeah, go Cobras. 
uh, yeah, I'm wondering if it's been like if it's like a murder mystery, is this like a slasher kind of story, uh, or is it like a ghost story? No idea yet. Looking forward to finding out. So yeah, we are. I guess do the rounds just means like walk around Can we the art storage room. Yeah, I guess do the rounds means walk walk right around the perimeter. Okay, so the classroom's open. Why is it foggy? Same classroom I've just been in. Utility closet. Check it later. Basement's not on the rounds, okay. Guess we just leave the doors open. At least that way we know where we've been. Teacher's lounge. So this is back to the start. Oh no, it's not going to the start. It just—it looks the same. We're at the north wing. We started at the south wing. Okay. Back exit. I checked the controls, it said that the left mouse button is used to fire, so I guess at some point we get a gun. Which means, yeah, there's combat in this game. Which probably means it's more, more a murder mystery thing. Oh, okay. Military police in the town of Harthorn are investigating a break-in at Bezboro Armoury that occurred on Sunday morning. Surveillance footage shows a vehicle next to bases loading bay after an unknown individual broke, broke the facility's front gate. Authorities believe the suspect had an understanding of the base's security schedule and must have come from observing the area for a number of days. 
MPs and local police are looking for any information regarding the suspect. Male, athletic build, approximately six foot three in height. Last seen wearing a long dark coat on the or the vehicle used a white panelled van. The license plate number SRE 9745 that's believed to be stolen. An inquiry is already underway on Bessborough's lapse in security that was instrumental in the success of the break in. There's no official comment from the site's authorities at this time. Why would there be candles lit here though? That's intriguing. So, have you got like a crazed military guy? Is that what that paper's wanting me to kind of think? I think we've nearly done the whole pyramid, or maybe this is the last room. Okay, some pressure is back with where we started. Next time around, next next time my route ends at the art storage in the southeast section of Harthorn. Okay, so art room storage. storage for that room. It's a bit creepy. Okay. So what was that? That last one was the afternoon shift maybe? Or the morning? Start by going to the infirmary. Okay, we should probably check that to start with. Yeah. So the infirmary is this way. How's the evening shift? Just a minute. Hey, April. It's going good. It's just... Just doing my rounds and staying on schedule. Yeah, I'm bored too. Have you explored much of the school outside your rounds? Not really, no. You should go check out the basement. I should? 
If you do, I'll tell you a story. If you're sticking to your schedule, you should be close to it anyways. Oh no. <laughs> Go to the basement, I'll tell you a story. It's gonna be a damn horror story, a ghost story, where I'm trapped in the basement. Anyway, what I was gonna suggest as we walked in here is that if you think about it, we're playing the role of a security guard or a night watchman. Now in horror movies, usually it's the security guard or a night watchman dies quite close quite close to the start of a horror movie. Uh, go to the basement, okay. I don't think this was the basement, was it? No. Okay, so it turns out if I press shift I can run, so I'm just going to get used to using the run key because I've got a feeling we're going to be using it at some point. <laughs> this is a horror game. It's not an action game. <laughs> also probably worth mentioning that I'm on my own right now in the house on my own. This is Monday. I'm recording this on a Monday about 11 o'clock in the morning. Downloaded the game yesterday, uh, last night. Didn't want to play a night. Wanted to get... Wanted to get... Well, it's, it's, it's light outside. Thing is, I do kind of scare easy in horror games, so yeah, this, this is like jump scares and you got to think fast and I'm going to be on the edge of my seat. See if you can find a map, I don't quite know where I'm going. Ah. All my instincts tell me not to go in here. Oh, it's the stairwell, not the basement. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to go into any kind of basement in real life. Basements and attics are where evil lives. I'm pretty sure that's like, evil's address. Attic slash basement slash the woods. <laughs> Here we go, I think this is I the actually reason. used to be in the pep squad for our basketball team, the Hearthorn Cobras. Really? No. Are you in the basement yet? Ah. I'm almost there, I think. I'm also playing this on a like a 55 inch 4K TV, so and I'm sitting right in front of it. And this being this first person, it almost feels like I'm I'm there. Oh God. Okay, here we go. Down to the dark, creepy basement to hear a horror story. Shadow's pretty good. Check it out. Okay, I'm in the basement. What do you see? A gate and other things typical of a high school basement. Go to the room on your left. It'll be worth it, I promise. Okay. All of a sudden I feel like I'm in an episode of Are You Afraid of the Dark? <laughs> There's going to be like high school ghost in here. Now what do you see? A boarded up door? Oh no. Wanna know what's on the other side? Maybe? This is getting a little weird. <laughs> it's part of the original school. Half the classes used to be down there before they built the new wing. We used to call it the dungeon when I attended Harthorn. The dungeon? Well, that's grim. I had math and history down here for three years. That's grim. After the new part of the school was finished, they moved everyone upstairs for renovations. So, why is it all locked up then? So many rumors around Hearthorn on why they condemned it. I've heard things from the school hiding a crime that took place there by a disturbed former art teacher, to a pipe bursting causing water damage and black mold with no school funds left over to fix it. That last one being the least exciting, but probably most accurate one. <laughs> I'm inclined to agree. But for now, it's off limits to everyone. Oh, 
I have a feeling we're going to end up there. We're going to end up there at some point in this game. Which is really exciting and creepy. Okay, it reminds me of, like, like I said, since I walked in here, it reminds me of an episode of Are You Afraid of the Dark? There's one where like, there's a high school who, they've got a locked off room like that, it's behind a set of lockers because it's got a haunted swimming pool. Where like, the ghost, there's like a civil war ghost that haunts the, the swimming pool, which is actually one of the more terrifying episodes of the original 90s series, Are You Afraid of the Dark? So now I've got that in my mind. Colonial ghosts of, yeah, civil war soldiers. But that story was not as creepy as I thought it was going to be. Put that pair of boots under there. Be unnerving if they move, I'm probably going to have a heart attack. <laughs> Just to scare me. Just there to scare me. Feel safe for not being there. <laughs> Let's see what our next objective is. May as well look around while I'm down in the dungeon. This place creeps me out though. Explore the basement. Oh, I thought we did that. Now you're making me go back to the basement? Just came out of the creepy ass basement. Sigh of relief, I don't want to go back. <laughs> So, place your bets guys, what what do you think is the real reason that that door's boarded up? Black mold? Hauntings? Crimes? Maybe it's something I'm supposed to find. Oh, Would a mate. high school even have mannequins? <laughs> Probably the sewing and textiles class. They make clothes for some projects. I made some overalls. Yeah, damn, they jumped in my skin. Good one, Arthur. You got me. Also, if you need batteries or anything for your radio, it'll be kept down here. There was an issue with theft in the past, so electronic stuff is kept in the basement. Batteries are in the basement. Noted. Thank you. It's getting pretty close to the end of your shift. I need you to grab some keys before you leave tonight. Yeah, sure. I've had enough of the dungeon anyways. What am I doing with the keys? Barely lasted one night Scrolls, down there. Stop going. It's, it's cheek like jigsaw As part himself. of the security package for the school, we're updating Hawthorne's rusty locks to keypads, keycards, and other fancy things tomorrow morning. That sounds pretty high tech. It's 1994, new guy. Times are a-changin'. 
<laughs> Fair enough. So if the bodies are down here, why can't I grab them now the and take them up to the not scary basement? Okay, get the keys, keys for Hearthorn. The main set of keys for Hearthorn is in the main office in the south wing. I need to grab them and leave them in the truck for the technicians to update the locks tomorrow. Main office in the south wing, okay. <laughs> Main office, uh, so we've just came from the utility room. Yeah, okay, so let's like go right to the south wing. Hey Jeff, figured you might find this if you're cleaning Hathorn during the winter break. It's probably just the pipes, but I'm hearing some metallic noises coming from the basement. I know no one's been down there in years, but could you go down and take a look? If you're not comfortable with going past the gate, I totally understand. No staff want to go back down there again after last time. Principal Greg Anderson. Okay, it's all leading back to this creepy, creepy, mysterious basement. Colour me intrigued, but also a little bit scared. Keys here. I got the keys. Awesome. On your way out, just leave them in the company truck for the technicians. We always keep it parked out there, and they have their own set to open it tomorrow morning and grab them. Will do. Night, April. Nighty night. Late night call. Oh, it gets it gets more and more interesting. Hello. Hey, it's April. You're on call tonight, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm up. What's up? The alarm at Hearthorn is going off. Can you drive down there? The installation guys probably wired something wrong, but we still got to check it out. Yeah, sure. I'm on my way. The new key is hidden in an old school bus in the woods next to the school. The technician had to leave late and needed to put it somewhere. And it's not an like old you school bus in the, the woods. Doormat. That seems unorthodox. No offense. Some stale horror movie. You Don't let our fancy logo fool you. We're quite an unorganized company. <laughs> right. I'll let you know when I find it. Yeah, I just I, I put, I put the spare keys in the old school bus next to the creepy-ass woods for your night call while the alarm is going off. Okay. This is escalated. Okay, there's a path. I was wondering where I had to go there. All of a sudden getting real bad frame rates. Damn, it's cold. Okay. An old school bus. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Wow. 
find the old bus. Take the lantern? No. Cannot take the lantern. Cool, we've got we've got better frame rates all of a sudden. Not sure why it was so bad back there. like a creepy old school bus to me. Oh god, there's going to be another jump scare here. It's going to be something. It's a damn school bus in the woods. Perfect place for it to scare me. And we already know that it's, that's the kind of thing that's planned, because that, that mannequin falling out nearly made me, <laughs> nearly made me style myself. Let's just bear politely. It's a straight out nightmare. In my mind, I can already see ghost kids like sitting in the seats staring at me. Bye bye, ghost bus. Hopefully, you're not haunted. I feel like I should check over my shoulder just to see if we get anything looking at me, you know? Should we check the back of the bus? No, let's, let's, let's leave the bus. See a creepy figure in the Hawthorn thing there now. There's a creepy figure in the in the Cobra logo. Ah, good. Now we have proper frame rates. Can you hear me, April? Loud and clear. I grabbed the keys from the old school bus. I'm in the Hawthorn now. All right. The alarm went off somewhere in the southwest wing. Check the map if you ever get turned around. Use the light switches outside rooms to help your investigations. Oh man! <laughs> All of a sudden, I'm remembering. Hey, this is a horror game. This is going to get horrifying. Right, light switches. Light switches. Where are you? Hello, light switches. Okay, so there's no light switch in there. I don't really want to walk about a dark classroom. Ah, light switches, okay. Ah. I 
How do you wish those doors didn't open in my face? Just makes it even creepier. Maybe that's the point. Seem to be able to get to that book. Probably just a security glitch that says, yeah, I don't know about that. I think we have an intruder. to read it here. From Principal Greg Anderson, 1220, so 20th of, Dece 20th of December 1994. Increasing security at Hathorn. We've taken the concerns of staff into consideration as a precaution, have instructed our security company to start checking the locks around Hathorn. We'll also have a buddy system of teachers walking to their cars and pairs from schools back in session after they want a break. Thank you for your cooperation. Principal Greg Anderson. From Lauren Scott. Not to sound alarmed, Greg, but are you sure he was released early? He wouldn't have known it was us that spoke to the police, would he? Yes, I was informed he was released last month. Some of the evidence was inconclusive, so he was only sentenced to the lesser charges. As for him knowing who cooperated with the police, I can't imagine him thinking it would be anyone else than his fellow faculty members here at Hawthorne, which is why we're taking preliminary precautions. I can't believe they'd let Victor out after we all told the police. I've taught history at Hatham for 21 years and in the three years he worked here was the first time a student went missing and happened twice. It's not a coincidence. The art he used to make in his classes should have been evidence enough for the poor state of mind. Those three years shocked everyone, I assure you. And as I said previously, the evidence was inconclusive and we're taking precautions. Let's keep cooling our heads, Miss Scott. <laughs> Okay, so there's a crazy art teacher on the list. Brilliant, I love this. Was he making art from the students? Oh my. Suitably creepy. But yeah, they lit candles. No one would have left the candles burning, I guess he's in here. Surely I don't have to go in there. Well, if I think that, it, I, I, oh my good God! Last time we were in the bathroom, it didn't it didn't work well for us. Hey, the way the doors open. Oh, that shit is creepy. Okay, let's do open them on this side so we don't have any excessive, excessive surprises. <laughs> ok. 
Okay, heart rate increasing, heart rate definitely increasing. A little bit on edge. Can't help but imagine myself in this guy's situation. You've just read that a crazy art teacher has been released who may or may not be responsible for students going missing. And you've just had to go and pick up keys from a creepy security bus in the woods and now we're checking lights to see if said crazy art teacher is lingering. Last count of storage is in inventory. 17 monitors, 9 basketballs, 7 boxes of toilet paper, 7 boxes of Hearthorn Cobra jerseys, 4 boxes of Hearthorn Cobra jerseys, 32 bottles of cleaning solution, 11 boxes of light bulbs, 6 baseball bats, and a bunch of other boxes I'll count later. Coach Prince. Seems to be stuck, eh? Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot we didn't check the girls' bathroom. <laughs> I think I found what set off the alarm. The window in the girls' washroom is busted. <sighs> Damn. Protocol says to investigate first, then contact the police if necessary. Probably just some kids anyways. Okay, there's no one in here. Search Arthur for any suspicion. I guess this job does get exciting sometimes. Hey, April. I sort of noticed something. What's up? The window was broken in the girl's bathroom, but there's no glass on the floor. It gave me the impression that someone broke out of the school, not into it. Why would someone break out of Hearthorn? I don't know. Something to do with changing all the locks? I think you might be working yourself up. Okay, so we can't go that way. So what we need to investigate must be this way. Thank you. 
Welcome to the class with the pin high on. There's no light for that one, that's too creepy. Okay, that was light. Sneaking suspicion is want me to go back down to the basement to check things. God, here we go. Thank God. <laughs> How's the investigation? I'm by the principal's office. Great. After replacing most of the locks, the technician left the master key card there. Take a look around. More lit candles. Haha, <laughs> I know. Okay. No sign of the master key card anywhere. Strange. Some doors might still be used with the original locks. Keep an eye out for any old keys. If you're done with the south wing, go to the north wing through the gym. Hey Greg, I think I should come in and leave the spare key somewhere for you to dispose of. I put it in that fancy lock box in the art room. Seems fitting with you know who out of prison, eh? <laughs> the combination is in the storage room, literally. Just read the three lines with gym equipment on the inventory sheet. I know, I know. It's on the other side of the south wing, but hey, you could use the exercise. Coach Prince. So I figured I should come in and leave the spare key, spare gym key, somebody to dispose of for putting that fancy lock box in the art room. Okay. Okay, so we've got to go to the... The storage room where we saw the the list of gym supplies, I believe. Oh my god, another heart attack moment. Basketball rolling by. <laughs> okay, this is atmospheric and also terrifying. Hope you guys on Nine Hive Gaming and I guess on YouTube appreciate what we gamers do. <laughs> Those of you who wouldn't play these games yourself. 
Where the hell did that ball come from and where did it go? Where nowhere, it's a ghost ball. Oh no. There it is right there. Let's say read the first three lines, maybe? 1797. 1797, we'll try that. I guess we've got 1797, 4, 32, 11, 6. Could you, I'll just remember 1797, hopefully that works. I'm kind of forget where the key was. In the fancy lock box in the art room, okay. Art room. Fancy lock box, where's the fancy lock box? Hey Vincent. Oh, you keep your eyes, Vincent. Bet they follow me around the room. Okay, they can't see me anymore. Fancy lockbox, where are you?
I think it'd be kind of obvious where the lockbox is. Maybe I'm in the wrong. Maybe I'm in the wrong room. Ah, there we go. Looks like a fancy lockbox. So it can't be 17. I guess I'll go and check that again, see what that said in the paper. Combination is in the storage room. Just read the three lines with gym equipment on the inventory sheet. Okay, three lines with gym equipment. So other things, I guess, are not um, are not gym equipment. So monitors is not one. Basketball's nine. Toilet paper's not one. Box of Hathorn, Cobra jerseys, okay. So nine four nine four six. Let's go and try nine four six. Starting to get into this game, even though I'm genuinely very creeped out. Picked up the gym key, object updated. Okay, so it's gymnasium. Seven, 
south wing seems fine. I should go to the northwest wing through the gym and continue the investigation. In the gymnasium now. Cool. That door to your north will need to be open. April, you cut out at the end there. Things are fine on my end. Did you touch the frequency? <laughs> Could be the weather, honest. Shit. I was supposed to replace the batteries before dropping off the keys yesterday. I remember her saying they're kept in the basement with the electronics, which is in the north wing anyways. Oh, uh, great. Bodies. We forgot the bodies. I didn't forget the bodies. I wanted to pick them up when we were there. Gym floor is completely wrecked again. It's the air ducts. They go all through the school and someone's leaking through them. Can only replace boards and mop up water so much. We need a contractor to come fix the duct system. Stop it from dripping. Probably not going to be cheap, but cheaper than replacing the whole basketball court. I'll leave the maintenance key here in case someone comes in to give us a quote. The Hawthorne Cobras will spend more time twisting their ankles on work flow than winning jack shit at this rate. Can I also take the saw as a weapon? No, I cannot. <laughs> It was blocked from the other side. Damn, okay. Maintenance key left behind by the janitor. So I guess we use the janitor's entrance. Climb up, eh? Crouch to navigate through the areas. <laughs> it's pretty cool, but also creepy. I feel like Spider-Man. Or Batman. This don't is crazy. Also don't trust these rusty ass air ducts. I'm thinking I got to crawl into that, into that air vent like, like Ripley and Alien. So good to throw it, okay, let's uh, throw it. Didn't make a noise. I wonder if I could have fell off there if I like, walked the wrong way. God, th this is what you want to be doing in a creepy old school. Climbing for the air ducts. I'd probably be like, yeah, I quit. <laughs> Don't need the job as badly.
That's pretty cool, though. We came in through there, now we're in the bathroom. Continue the investigation with no other leads. More mannequins, eh? Where's the world is the way? I'm in the north wing and can think can can continue investigation. I should probably fix that vent cover before I leave though, and never tell anyone I did that. Well, it doesn't look like I can pick it up. Nice shoes. <laughs> Hiding mannequins in the toilet's not cool. The only thing I was here before. I don't think the technician would do something like this. Okay, so this door's barricaded. Can't get in there. Classroom C is barricaded. See why barricade one door, but then not the other one? Especially if there's nothing here for me to find. Janet or Geoff Kingston. Hey Greg, some corrosive materials went missing from the utility room last week. You know if anyone's been poking around there lately? Normally I'd assume it was those little bastards. Blessed though they be. But with it being winter break and all, I'm concerned there might be a member of staff. Not that I'm accusing anyone of anything. From Principal Greg, I understand your concerns, Geoff. I've received a number of emails about missing supplies around Hathorn and we're taking extra measures with hiring a security company and updating our locks. Also, Though at times appropriate, please do not refer to the student body as bastards. <laughs> so the mad art teacher has been stealing supplies to do his mad art in the basement is what I'm thinking. I don't know what the rest of the Scooby-Doo mystery gang thinks, but I think I've cracked the case. Oh, 
Ah, oh, so the basement's blocked. We can't go there. Well, I'd like to say that I'm sorry we can't go to the basement, but I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit glad. <laughs> basement was already scary. Oh no, another dark alley we can't go down. Looks like we'll have to go into the bathroom. Oh no! <laughs> cool. Cool, I'm glad we can't go into these rooms. Someone it is in Hawthorne. Okay. Lay low. Don't make too much noise. What? Stay low and quiet and avoid detection. Running is a last cost. Oh no. <laughs> Find batteries for the radio in the basement. That man looks potentially dangerous. All the exits are blocked or locked and there's no going back through the air vent. So I'll have to go into the basement and look for batteries to radio April and contact the police. Okay, straight to the basement, no examining anywhere else. Probably time to call it for this first episode. Maybe we should do it before we go to the basement. Okay, I'm going to be brave for all you guys watching this. Even though my heart is in my mouth now. Because shit is getting real. But we're going to go to the basement, get these batteries, radio for help. And end up this spooky ass episode of this spooky ass game. That's not the basement. Stay low, avoid detection. Running is a last resort. Staying low. Avoiding detection. Hard's in my mouth waiting for a jump scare. Okay, okay. Get the batteries from the basement. Radio April. Where the hell is the basement? I thought that was the basement.
Ah, key card. Now this is the basement, which is accessed by a key card, but is locked, which means that guy probably is in the basement in that creepy ass door. But I'm not sure how to get in the basement.